All right. Good morning, everybody. We're going to get things kicked off here for the September Industry Hour. Um, my name is Rob Triplett with the Pendle Jersey Chapter. Um, today, we're going to have a presentation from Kat McCoy at Milwaukee Tool, who will be discussing cordless innovation in the power tool industry and MX Fuel. So we're, we're really excited to have Kat and Simone here from Milwaukee, and they have some uh, great new solutions coming forward. So with that being said, I'll turn it over to Kat. Um, just some housekeeping items. We are recording this presentation and we'll post it on the chapter's website. And you do have the ability to unmute yourself if you have any questions. I do ask to hold your questions to the end and uh, we should be good to go. Kat, take it away. Thanks so much, Rob. Happy to be here. As you guys know, I'm going to be taking over for Simone. So if there's any of those of you on here that I haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you virtually. Um, I'm actually gonna pass it over to Simone now. She's gonna start off the presentation for us and then pass it back over to me. Um, so go ahead, Simone. Great, thanks so much, Kat. You wanna go ahead to the first slide. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is just take a couple of minutes, to talk to you guys about the history of Milwaukee, um, kind of where we came from, how we got to where we are today, um, positioned really as leaders in the cordless um, power tool industry, as far as technology and innovation. So it all started for us back in 2005, when, when, sorry, when we launched the world's first lithium ion battery pack for a power tool. It was a huge risk because it was a huge leap in technology and innovation at the time. Um, everyone told us we were crazy. All of our competitors laughed in our faces because um, I'm sure as a lot of you guys might remember, nickel cadmium batteries was all the rage at the time. Um, but you know, our CEO, he's, he's a pretty smart guy. He was looking into this new science out on the market called lithium. And he decided to completely um, turn everything on its head and, and launch our first lithium ion battery pack. Um, turned out to be a pretty smart move as this was the first step in completely revolutionizing the industry. Um, so in 2008, we were able to take things a step forward and make a big investment in expanding our electronic capabilities. Um, from the battery pack alone to the battery and the tool. Then in 2010, we evolved again. Um, we launched the world's first high power extended capacity battery pack, which enabled us to take that now cordless tool and give our end users increased runtime and increased performance. 2012, that was a big jump in technology, um, one that's really near and dear to all of our hearts at Milwaukee as it was the launch of M18 Fuel, which I'm sure a lot of you on the call today are familiar with probably using on a lot of your job sites. Um, this was the first high powered brushless motor system. Um, so why fuel was so special and so important to all of us is it was able to bring together um, our Milwaukee Power State brushless motor, um, which by the way is completely designed and created in-house and completely um, unique and customized for the tool that it's in. Um, so no two motors are the same, um, but it was able to pair that with our Red Link, or sorry, our Red Lithium battery technology and our Red Link Plus intelligent platform to deliver a cordless tool that prior to never had a cordless option. Um, so that's really the trend that you'll see here is we were able to take tools that everyone thought would always be cordless that was traditionally cordless and move them to a battery pack so we can get closer and closer um, to a safer more productive job site. Um, so then in 2016, we launched OneKey, which brought about huge leaps in job site productivity um, because it allowed users to completely customize their tool for the application. So it delivered faster and more consistent results every single time. Um, so OneKey allows users to put the job site at their fingertips um, because it offers a completely free and customizable tool management and tracking system. Um, in 2016, we also launched our first high demand battery pack, which was a true game changer in cordless technology. So a lot of you might be familiar with our 9.0 battery pack, um, which has since evolved to include eight amp hour all the way up to 12 amp hour. Um, but what this did was it not only enabled us to improve performance and all day runtime on our core set of cordless tools, but it enabled us again to launch tools that we never dreamed of being able to make cordless. Um, like pipe threaders and a big line of SDS Max rotary hammers. So again, just getting closer and closer toward that safer, more productive job site. 
Um, and then that brings us up to our current state. So in 2020, another giant leap in uh, technology and innovation with the launch of our MX Fuel line. This pushed the envelope a step further because what it did was it took that traditionally gas powered um, light duty equipment type tools and it put a battery on it. Um, so we're talking tools like a 14 inch cutoff saw, a concrete breaker and a core drill, just to name a few. Um, and this is just the startup of the line, which we're gonna talk to you guys a little more about today, but this platform is gonna be expanding in a really big way. And so really what we're doing here, as we see the trend um, in certain parts of the country to eliminate gas emissions, eliminate you know, those gas powered tools, not only due to the emissions, but due to the noise and the, the space and where you're able to use those tools um, to be able to get closer and closer to that cordless job site and also that gas free job site. Um, again, going back to being able to deliver to you all a safer, more productive job site. Kat, you can go to the next slide. Um, so what we'd like to do today is introduce you guys to our MX Fuel platform. And one thing we tried to do, guys, you know, ideally we like to do these types of things in person so we can demo the tools. Um, you guys can see live action, um, but we did embed, we tried to embed videos for each tool so that you guys could kind of get a feel for, you know, what it looks like in an application out in the field. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and take it over from Simone and go ahead and show you guys what we have been able to do um, with this new technology and this battery platform um, and how individually throughout each of these tools we have been able to make um, the job site more safer and make the jobs more productive. Um, the first tool I'm going to show you guys and like Simone said we do have a bunch of videos embedded in here so the next one is going to jump right into a video of the first tool we want to tell you guys about which is going to be our core drill, um, a very common tool used by electricians as you guys know. Um, so I'm going to jump right into this video, and then after that, we're going to speak about, you know, some of the um, things we've been able to overcome from a standpoint of battery-operated tools to make the job site more safer and productive. If my slide decides to move to the next one. There we go. The MX Fuel core drill is gonna be the next level of innovation in the mechanical industry. It was very safe and there was no kickback. I thought the clutch worked great on it. You could stand up on an eight-foot ladder and not have to worry about it hitting you in the face. The clutch works really, really nice. It was very confident, very safe. I didn't have any issues, even on some of the larger holes that we drill. Had more control. It catches itself and doesn't rack the bit or the machine. I feel extremely confident, so it doesn't kick out and come and hit you. I thought safety-wise it was awesome, and the power itself was there. There was nothing lacking at all with the battery in the MX Fuel. The MX Fuel core drill had plenty of power. It didn't bog down whatsoever. It drilled one six inch hole through 14 inches of concrete. No problem with battery life to spare. I feel it has just as much power as any quartered core drill out there. That MX Fuel core drill, it went through the steel. I didn't feel any kickback at all. It didn't shake on the wall at all. It really mounted nice. 
It's quicker by far because you don't have to drag out a cord. It's very lightweight. It does have a level on it, which is nice to keep your hull straight. Oh, apologies. MX fuel core drill. It went through the steel. I didn't feel any kickback at all. It didn't shake on the wall at all. It really mounted nice. It's quicker by far because you don't have to drag out a cord. It's very lightweight. It does have a level on it, which is nice to keep your hull straight. It's a lot lighter trying to carry it around. The performance gauge is nice because you know that you're never going to overstress the bit or the unit itself, and you're getting your optimal torque on the bits, so you know you're getting your optimal performance on the tool. I think Milwaukee has unbelievably high standards, as they should, and absolutely MX Fuel is right up there at the top. My favorite thing is it says Milwaukee on the side of it. Okay, thank you guys for bearing with me throughout um, the technical difficulties there. Um, as you guys saw in that video, there are a lot of common user frustrations um, that we've been able to solve. Just to speak about a few that are definitely safety issues. Um, obviously, uh, clutch failure, bits binding, power limitations, um, changing bits, you know, can be extremely difficult to get off machines. Um, you, you run the risk of tripping breakers using tools um, that require wires. The setup process, obviously, um, you know, there's downtime spent locating outlets, extension cords, locating equipment. You know, if it's not with our one key system, that's not something that, you know, we ever want to be really spending time on looking for, you know, our tools around the job site. But um, as you see, a lot of them um, really re revolve around safety um, as well as, you know, not being gas and the setup process, it takes a lot less time to deal with. Um, moving on, the technology that Milwaukee um, has allowed us to do with this MX Fuel platform from a core drill perspective has allowed us to give you guys safer handheld coring. Um, and this is done by our patented clutch, um, which is gonna give the users more control, less torque. Obviously that's an important aspect of the role. And then our auto stop, which is gonna prevent um, loss of control during a bind up. Again, more productivity and safer handheld coring there. The second thing is this is going to have the ability to power um, through six inch holes in reinforced concrete. Um, the drill itself has the ability um, to go through block, concrete and rebar, rebar with that six inch bit capacity. Um, and then you can also do wet or dry pouring as well because um, we have an onboard water connection that's available. Lastly, easiest coring anywhere, right? Um, we wanna save time, we wanna be productive and we wanna be safe on the job site. And this is what's gonna allow us to do that. The advantage that this MX Fuel tool is going to give users on the job site um, the performance gauge, right? Um, it's going to coach users to optimize drilling pressure so that they can drill better and optimally become better at identifying this pressure that they need to use. So to get the job done faster. Um, the LED level, what that does, it's gonna maintain accuracy throughout the application. Like you saw the users talking about it before, it makes the job easier for them to make sure that it's going in straight and level. There is a handheld stand. Um, which you can use obviously vertically um, on a wall or you can use on the ground. Um, so it's versatile for all applications. Um, and then you're not gonna have to worry about outlets or generators because it's battery operated, takes away the safety and hazard of um, the generators as well as the ability to be able to you know, use it inside, um, no tripping over wires. I'm gonna move on to the next tool that we've been able to locate on this MX Fuel platform. We're going to talk about um, the MX cutoff saw. Like Simone said before, this is an awesome saw as well. 14 inch cut capacity. I'm going to play the video for you guys. So again, um, we'll go through after and we'll talk about some of the typical user frustrations and you know where the technology has really led us um, with this tool.
having the 14 inch blade on the MX saw was great. You don't have to rotate the pipe as much when you're cutting an 8, 10, 6 inch pipe. It's a lot safer than having to keep rotating the pipe. It helps you make a straighter cut also. We were surprised to see the saw have a 14 inch blade. It's better for cutting concrete when you're cutting floors. It goes deeper so you don't have to worry about that and then you get more cuts out of a blade. Having a 14 inch blade, you can cut more at once and it just makes the job quicker. I was impressed with how quick it started and how powerful it was. Being able to just push a button and be able to go right away is, is awesome. I think the uh, power and speed of the MX fuel cutoff saw is very fast. Compared to the gas, it's as fast if not faster. Pull it out, the battery on, and start cutting. Well, the MX fuel fits the bill for having a lot of power. You're going to be able to cut through that thicker steel and thicker cast iron a lot faster. And also the fact that you don't have to buy gas and then also buy the oil and pre-mix everything before it goes into the saw. You're just plugging in the battery and you're going a lot more efficient that way. The new MX fuel cutoff saw, it's faster, no gasoline, it's lighter, and you can work indoors safely and comfortably. It's definitely not as noisy as a, as a typical gas saw. It doesn't vibrate as much. It's, it's a pretty smooth operating tool. It functions great, did everything it was set out to do. I could see MX fuel changing the way we work because of how portable it is. I feel like it's more reliable, you know, safer and just better. Well built, powerful, everything it should be. Alrighty, well that is our 14 inch cutoff saw here. There we go. Takes a couple tries, um, but moving on, like you said, um, like you saw in the video, a lot of you know user frustrations surrounding gas, right? Um, so what this, again, the system has allowed us to do is eliminate those gas headaches. You guys can use this saw indoors without any worries no emissions, no safety hazards, um, and run through the job without having that as any worry at all. Um, it's going to be up to 50% less noise, so you're also not gonna have to deal with the loud noise and the less vibration is going to deliver a smoother cut uh, for the end user. So looking at um, these user frustrations, you know, emissions, noise, and vibration, like I said, um, that no gas headaches, that's going to really take away all of those issues. Um, and then obviously the inconvenience of the mixing gas, gas and oil, and then locating equipment, that one key is going to solve that issue as well. Already talked about the no gas headaches a little bit. Want to jump into the fastest cuts from start to finish. Like you saw in the video, very quick to start up. The guys were very happy with it. That's our main goal, right, is to increase the productivity for the users and the job site. It's push button activation, which gives you that ability to start the tool fast. It's going to give you the same cut speed as a gas saw. And you're gonna be able to maximize the productivity by getting you know, up and running each time faster and faster, all while not dealing with the gas headaches. That is, our MX cutoff saw, again, it is going to be on that fuel MX platform um, to promote safety and productivity. Um, feel free, you guys, just wanted to mention to jump in with any questions or anything and stop me. Um, I'm gonna keep rolling through here, um, but again, feel free to stop me. Next tool I want to talk to you guys about um, is the power supply. This one's really exciting. Um, it's a very versatile tool and you'll see why here. Um, play the video for you. Um, is it giant up for you guys small on your screen or is it just me? Using the MX Fuel Carry On power supply, I was actually surprised on how much power it actually would support, how long it lasted. It powered everything, no delay, and plenty of power. Miter saws, corded saws, battery charging units, air compressors. It kept up with all our power needs. There was no concern for us to charge our cell phones and other personal devices on this unit. You're not taking the time to fuel it up. You can run it and swap batteries out. This is just plug in, hit a button and walk away. Power sources on a big project like this are somewhat limited. Having our own portable Power supply unit available on demand all the time is uh, very helpful to keep us on the go. It's nice to have portable power anywhere you go on a job site instead of lugging around extension cords. The MX Fuel power supply doesn't have any emissions because it is battery powered. It's great with its mobility. 
it's small, light, compact. I can take it inside a room and I'm not worrying about gasoline or even noise. The MX Fuel changes your efficiency on the job site. You're saving time and money. I save on gasoline, I save on oil, I save on parts along the lifespan of a traditional generator. In this case, it's just charging battery. With the MX Fuel power supply, you'll never blow a breaker. You will never have loss of power. You'll always have your power with you. It has surprised me a lot, and I don't think I'm going back to anything else. Okay, so again, that was our power supply. Very exciting new tool we have on the MX platform. Some typical user frustrations that we see with the current solutions on the market. Obviously, all the things that have to do with generators, right? They're super loud, um, dangerous emissions. You can't keep them in closed spaces. Um, they have a ton of extension cords. Again, safety hazard, very annoying to deal with. Um, and then, you know, there's also frustrations during the temporary or during the temp power phase, right? Um, can't always locate the spider boxes that are nearby. Breakers are going to trip constantly. Um, and again, those wires and those cords, it, it's frustrating to deal with. So where the carry-on comes in and solves a lot of those issues and makes, you know, it's safer and more productive on the job site for our end users is um, the MX Fuel um, carry-on supply is going to you know, provide that power more on demand. Um, not only is it going to be able to provide you that power on demand, it's very portable, um, but it's also going to produce pure sine wave power and clean energy. So, you know, imitating that energy that's going to come right out of that outlet in your house, um, which gives you the ability to start up, you know, run and extend the life of sensitive electronics, as well as 15 amp um, power tools that are going to need a ton of power. So a very, very versatile tool here. Moving on, you know, portable power anywhere. Like I said, it's very portable. Um, it's going to be emissions free. You can bring it inside and not worry about, you know, um, that safety hazard, right? As well as it's going to be much, much quieter. Um, I actually think I, I don't think it makes any noise. When we were at um, a fire expo a little bit ago. Um, one of our employees was charging his uh, scooter on it and I had no idea it was even on. Um, so very, very quiet. Um, and then lastly, we have efficient power all day, right? So that MX fuel advantage is going to eliminate the cost of the gasoline, oil, and the filters, very annoying. Um, and you're gonna save on wasted energy from idling en engines. That is the MX power supply. Um, the runtime wise, um, you can get, like I said, um, that 15 amp um, power supply, excuse me. And I believe um, impressive wise with a 15 amp, um, excuse me, sorry, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Um, but you should be able to get a ton of cuts with a, a 15 amp circular saw. I believe it said around um, 62 cuts um, or more with a 15 amp circular saw. And then also the sensitive electronic side, excuse me, I lost my way a little bit there. But just moving on, um, those are all the tools I wanna talk to you about today. Very exciting and very cool ways that we are saving you know, you guys, some productivity on the job site. And overall, our goal is to make it safer um, with this new technology. The last awesome tool on this MX Fuel um, platform, I'm going to hand it over to Simone to talk about, which is going to be our light. Um, I can run into this video. And Simone, if you just want to let me know when to play the video, I will get it started for you. Sure, go ahead and get it started. Awesome.
right, that was a wind tunnel demo of our MX rocket tower light. Um, so this is the newest addition to the MX fuel family. Um, and the MX fuel rocket tower light is gonna provide um, users with a new way to light the site by establishing a new level of performance, portability, and it's designed for the extreme um, environment that we know you guys need to have. Um, so whether you're using gas powered lighting or AC powered lighting um, to get the site lit up, um, I'm sure you'll be familiar with more than one of these common user frustrations, um, whether it's the large size of the lighting, rental costs, fuel management, um, with our AC powered lighting, um, obviously use in wet environments, we all know electricity and water do not mix well. Um, we're dealing with extension cords um, that gets costly, replacement of them, lack of durability of a lot of these lights, and again, high power consumption, um, just to name a few. I know from talking with a lot of you guys, these are a lot of, um, a lot of frustrations that we feel day in and day out with a lot of these um, lighting solutions. Kat, you can go to the next slide. Um, so with all that being said, I'm really excited to be able to introduce you guys um, to the newest addition to the rocket um, rocket tower family of lights. Um, so this light is gonna be able to deliver 20,000 lumens of task or area lighting, up to three hours of runtime on high and 12 hours of runtime on low. The nice thing about this light, um, similar to a lot of our other rocket tower lights, is you do have the ability to plug this light in. Um, so when the light's plugged in, it can deliver up to 27,000 lumens and it'll also act as a charger for your, ME, or sorry, your MX batteries. The light is extremely portable for indoor or outdoor use. It has eight inch wheels that make it really easy to get it around and four outriggers on each side that'll stabilize it in any type of environment. Um, as you saw in the video, it is meant for the harshest conditions. It has an IP56 rating um, and can withstand wind gusts of up to 35 miles per hour, uh, which is the same wind rating as many of the gas powered units. As you guys saw in the video, it looked like they turned the wind up a lot higher than 35 miles per hour and it did just fine. Um, it's also equipped with one key. So for tool tracking and management, um, it'll also give you the ability to remotely set the light, um, create on off schedules for the light and control the direction of the light from your phone. So that is our MX tower light and um, the whole lineup that we wanted to walk you guys through today. Um, Kat and I are always available if you guys have any additional questions on these tools, if you want us to get them out to your shop or your site for a demo, um, leave them with you guys to test in the field. Um, these are all things that we're able to do. But at this point, I'll just open it up to you guys and see what questions you have for us. I will say very quickly, um, 1200 cuts in a two by four with the 15 amp circular saw for the power supply. I was very off, got it confused with another metric, but there you guys go. <laughs> we have too many numbers to remember. It gets, gets a little confusing sometimes. Hi, Simone. Hi, Kat. This is Jay with Pendel Jersey Nika. I just have one quick question. What, what is the wear and tear on the batteries? What's the battery life of the MX fuel? So it's the same as a lot of our other batteries. Um, it's again, meant to withstand those job site um, harsh conditions. It has the rubber over molding. Um, it has weep holes on the bottom that's gonna let out any moisture that'll get into um, get into them. Believe it's a, Kat, do you know if it's a one year or two year warranty on the MX batteries? Two, yeah. So two year warranty. So same thing you would see on our um, compact batteries. Thank you. As, as someone who has uh, core drilled quite a few holes in my time in the field, uh, that core drilling machine looks absolutely phenomenal. Lightweight, leveler, the clutch, every, everything you worry about when core drilling that's going to throw you off the ladder seems to be addressed in this system. And I, I think that looks like a wonderful product. Thank you. Yeah, we've um, we received great feedback on it so far. I mean, especially with, with the electricians, it, it seems to fit perfectly into what you guys are doing day in and day out. Are there any other questions out there? Hearing none, um, I will share Simone and Kat's contact information after this presentation. So if anything ever pops up, uh, feel free to reach out to them. Um, I just wanna 
say thanks again to Simone and Kat for their presentation today. Um, there's some really impressive stuff coming down, out right now from Milwaukee. And uh, I also want to thank Milwaukee Tool for their partnership with the Pendle Jersey chapter. I know they've been very supportive of, with everything we do, and especially at our apprenticeships. Uh, they're very, they jump on board whenever a sponsorship is available and they, they often give uh, free tools to our apprenticeship. So we're, we're really appreciative of that relationship. Um, with that being said, uh, Simone and Kat, is there anything you all, you would like to add before we uh, end? No, just, I mean, thank you guys so much for allowing us to uh, talk to you guys a bit about these products and thank you so much for your support over the years. It's been a great partnership and look forward to continuing. Yeah, same here. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Um, with that being said, um, we're going to conclude now. Uh, just so you're aware, our next industry hours in October on the 28th with Seagal Insurance Group, who will be discussing design, build, construction, risk, and opportunities. So I hope to catch up with you all then. And for now, thank you for joining, and we'll see you in October. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Simone. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, Rob. Thank you all. Have a good weekend. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your weekend.